parents of Reddit, what is the weirdest thing you caught your children doing? When my son was three years old, we noticed the smell of burnt plastic coming from our heater vents. I called one of our friends that worked in heating and cooling and he came over. Our furnace was in our crawl space so he went down. About 15 minutes later, he asked me to hand him three black garbage bags through one of the vents so I did so. He came up later with three bags of plastic toys. I had wondered where all my son's toys were going. I asked my son why he was putting toys down the vents. He said mommy, there are alligators down there and if I don't feed them my toys, they will eat my sister. I would have fed my sister to the vent alligators rather than lose all my toys. You're raising a kind kid. A little girl I was babysitting was slowly stirring her bowl of chocolate ice cream into mush. I asked her what she was doing, and she replied very seriously I'm making poo poo for God to put in people's bottoms. We caught my sons, 6 and 3 years old at the time, both sitting on the toilet together, one behind the other, pooping. They told us it was a double poop. We forbid them from ever doing that again. Edit to add, for those of you who think we are terrible parents because we stopped our children from doing double poops, please know they seem to be well adjusted and appear to have no permanent damage from this incident. We have provided them with ample outlets for their creativity that do not involve poop. Packing turds into cardboard tubes with toilet paper and hiding them under the sink. She called them poop bombs. There was like 10 of them under there. I saw my kid who was four, in the backyard looking for bugs or worms. He grabbed something and put it in his mouth. I asked him about a few minutes later. He said he ate a worm. I laughed and asked why. He said he wanted to know what it tasted like. So I asked what did it taste like. He said it tasted like mud. The next day I asked him if he really ate a worm. He replied yay in the most defeated and embarrassed way any human could. You live, you learn a. I kept finding dead worms in kids' pockets while doing laundry. Then I noticed that while I had him help me in the garden he would pick the worms up kiss them and put them in his pocket. He told me he does this because he loves them. I convinced them that the worms are happier in the ground, he has started putting them back on the ground after kissing them. I caught my twins in first grade measuring each other's penises with a tape measure they got to measure their heads in first grade for bike helmets. I walk in after their baths and one is on his back with his legs in the air. Of course my husband said, that's not something you do until high school. I didn't have a twin, but none of us siblings did that together. Cousins yes, brothers no, that would be weird. What are you doing there cousin? When my daughter was little, old ladies would come over and enthusiastically ask her simple questions. Like what's your name? And she would always reply in flat monotone birthday cake. Then they'd ask another question like oh, well, how old are you? And she'd say birthday cake. They would look over at us with great concern. So annoying. I went through a phase where if the house phone rang I would race to it, answer it and shout, hello this is Lollipop. Then I started to tell anyone on the street or in a store that my name was Lollipop. My mom got so tired of explaining to strangers that no, my birth name was not actually Lollipop. Caught my two-year-old son licking the floor. He seemed really into it. My two-year-old kid licks our cars. My daughter licked the chairs in church. She was so weird, smiley face. My five-year-old nephew went to feed the chickens yesterday, I told him to get a hat he came back fully naked with gumboots and a straw hat on. Apparently the last time he went to the chicken house they pecked at his junk, and he wants to show them that it's not big enough to eat yet. Kids are weird. Five-year-olds will pretty much use any excuse to be naked. My youngest daughter was about 18 months old. She had, about a week before discovered how to climb out of her own crib. Also, about a month before, she had once taken off her own diaper, not a repeat event but a one-time thing. My mother-in-law was visiting us, and we were all slow to wake up. Around 7.30, the baby monitor alerted me that my daughter was awake, 
but happy and content in her crib. I let my wife sleep in, and I grabbed a quick 5 minutes shower before going to grab her. When I got there, she had put the two pieces together, climb out of crib, and take off diaper, and used them to repaint her room. I will never recover from the trauma of the smell. When my son was about 3 years old, he liked to wash his eyebrows with my facial cleanser. Just the eyebrows. Wet, lather, rinse, repeat. He said it made them nice and soft. As the son mentioned in this comment, I can confirm that my eyebrows were indeed super soft. Whoa. We thought couples on Reddit was interesting, but parents and children? How strange. Let's see. My daughter was drinking strawberry milk and then spitting it back into the cup so she could drink it again. I had hosed off a tarp and it was drying on the patio. We went outside and she just stooped down and took a drink out of a puddle on the tarp. Just today I was in the garage and she came out, instantly grabbed a toothbrush I used to clean car parts and stuck it in her mouth. I don't even know anymore. She's going to have a killer immune system. Or tetanus. One of those for sure. When my brother-in-law was three he was so obsessed with a toilet plunger they had to buy him his own so he'd stop grabbing the used one. It was his best friend. My mom caught me bringing eggs from the kitchen into my room and sitting on them in a blanket nest, hoping they'd hatch. What she didn't catch was that I had been doing this for a while and would put the eggs back into the fridge when they wouldn't hatch after a few days. My brother decided he wanted a pee hat, which is literally what it sounds like, a hat he could pee in during the night. While already a stupid idea, since he didn't empty it, he chose a plastic hat with hole in it. Edit, it was a toy construction hat with two-fourths holes in the top, meaning his makeshift toilet had two-fourths holes for the pee to leak from. And he was keeping it in his toy box. My three-year-old's first joke was hey look at my armpit and she would point at her armpit and laugh. She would do this over and over. They warn you about first steps and first words but first joke? I am a proud dad. I'm not a parent, but when I was a kid I used to prefer to poop in the park closest to my house instead of at home. I used to wonder who cleaned up my poop every day because the poop was always gone by the next day. After months of doing this I found out a neighbor mom was the one who kept cleaning up my poop. I was mid poop one sunny afternoon when I saw her walking towards the park from her condo across the road with a baggie, probably because she had a chore every day that included going to the park to clean up my poop before her children could go play. I was squatted atop the playground in one of those wooden cubicles at the top of a slide peering out through a crack between the wooden pillars, watching the neighbor mom coming closer trying to finish my poop at a rapid pace. I finished my poop, didn't wipe, because I was a disgusting child pooping in a park, yanked my pants up and flew my poopy ass down the slide through the field to home. Raced through the door and continued to live my best life until there was a knock on the door. My mom answered the door and to my horror there was neighbor lady and she and my mom had a long talk and outside on the front step. When my mom came and she looked at me with pure disgust and said no more pooping at the park. Dot my older brother's friends were over and and overheard my mom scream that at me. They demanded to know the whole story. Then when I started kindergarten, one of the children of the poop picker upper neighbor mom was in a grade ahead of me and recognized me and told everyone what I had done. I was and always will be the park pooper. When my son was three. He had night terrors for a few months. At least that's what I suspected. I was really concerned. The most unsettling thing he did wasn't waking up sobbing though. Sometimes he would wake up around midnight, walk to where I was, stare at me and then walk back to bed. He wouldn't respond to me and just sit on his bed while staring at the ground. If I tried to comfort him, he would become angry and violent. Next morning, he'd be his normal self. At that time he would often ask if ghosts were real. We never exposed him to anything with that sort of content. I'd try to reassure him that they were just imaginary. He would insist that they were real. Sometimes at night he would call me to his room and say someone was there. I was freaking out a little. 
not just by the idea that my child was seeing strange shit but that he might be suffering from psychological issues. My wife insisted that this wasn't something to be concerned about, she's a psychologist and I respected her opinion but I just couldn't stop worrying. I felt like I needed to help my kid. Anyhow, it became less and less frequent and stopped altogether for the most part. He still asks about and insists that ghosts are real from time to time. But he isn't scared at night anymore. Do you have similar stories? Leave a comment. And subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more same videos.